I, I really got nothing to say to start this off, so let's just roll the intro. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smiley, and today I am very, very excited to be bringing you a review for Sherlock Season 4. Now us Sherlock fans, we wait forever between seasons. Something like two years, it's fucking crazy. And I got into Sherlock right at the end of the second season, so this is my second time waiting the two year cycle to get a new episode. And goddamn, does this season deliver. Holy shit. So we start with the six Thatchers, which continues the story from his last vow. Sorta, kinda. This first episode is very action heavy. We get some shootouts, we get some explosions, we get some chase scenes. It's really, really intense. And I was kind of surprised that there was this much action in an episode of Sherlock, like conventional action, as opposed to just edgier seat thrills. But it was really welcome. It was a huge change of pace for the series. And it was really, really very cool just seeing Sherlock in these new and cool scenarios. In this episode, we get to learn a lot more about Mary, which I'll spoil nothing right here. This is a spoiler free review so I'm not gonna be spoiling anything here not today but we do get to learn a lot more about Mary and she does have a very very interesting backstory moving into the lying detective the lying detective is a masterpiece of modern art film is an art and this episode the lying detective is a modern marvel it is fantastic from beginning to end, from minute one to minute none, you are on the edge of your seat. One of the greatest episodes of all time, which is saying a lot because these are all fantastic episodes. Every single episode of Sherlock has been great. And this is probably my favorite one. The Lying Detective is just so fantastic and so well acted. I don't want to say much more about it. What I do really want to touch on is Toby Jones, who plays Culverton Smith, the villain of this episode, is one of the best villains in Sherlock history. Him and Sherlock, spend about 80% of the episode on screen together and it is fan-fucking-tastic. No more words about this episode. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to give anything away. It was definitely a fantastic episode and that leads me into the final problem. Name of the last episode, the final problem. And I was reading a lot of reviews online for this episode before I watched it and I was getting a little nervous because there were a lot of negative reviews online. A lot of negative reviews online. People were saying it was sloppy. It was not very fun to watch. People said it didn't pay off very well. I disagree with these people. However, I see where they're coming from if it's the very first time they watch Sherlock. If you started watching Sherlock at the episode The Final Problem, for whatever reason, you would probably dislike it very much. But if you have been watching Sherlock from the very beginning, and you've been watching since season one, and you've seen every episode many times like I have, you're probably gonna love this episode, and it might even be your favorite one out of this season. Even though The Lying Detective is very, very good, and fucking fantastic, and amazing, and 10 out of 10, the final problem just takes you to an emotional climax and then holds you there for the entire hour and a half. This episode is, it is all of Sherlock's emotions, everything that he has suppressed over the years coming out and coming back to haunt him. It is really a very gripping episode. There are just some shocking plot twists in there that I did not see coming. I was absolutely thrilled by the final problem being the finale to this season. Now, it's been speculated a little bit that this may actually be the last season season of Sherlock just because Martin Freeman and Benedict Cumberbatch are becoming so incredibly busy, not to mention Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss who worked on Doctor Who the rest of the year. These are really busy people so no one's really sure whether this is the last season or not. Even Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat said in an interview that they had no idea whether this was going to be the last season or not and that's unfortunate. I would really like to see more seasons of Sherlock in the future and I really hope that they do get made but if this is how the series is going to end and this is how Sherlock ends, I'm still very very happy with it and I am absolutely happy to give it a 10 out of 10. Yep, a 10 out of 10. The first 10 out of 10 of 2017 and of course it was gonna be Sherlock. I am so happy that this season went well. It was such a joy to watch. It was an incredible thrill ride and I'm not just talking about this season, I'm talking about the entire series. It's a thrill ride, both emotional and tension filled and really if you have not seen the show by now, there's only 12 or 13 episodes, I highly recommend that you watch it. It's worth your time. 
blown away by how much I loved this season. It was fantastic. It was the perfect follow-up to season three, which was also spectacular. And now that I'm reviewing this, I want to go back and review other seasons of Sherlock, and I definitely will. It doesn't really take that long to watch them. <laughs> and do let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see the last episode of Sherlock, The Final Problem, a more in-depth discussion on it, because I do have some spoiler-filled thoughts on The Final Problem that I would like to share with you guys. Kind of an argument to some of the negative reviews that I read, but I'm not sure if you guys be interested in that, so let me know in the comments below, and leave me a like on this video if you liked it, and yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. You've been awesome. Keep it kosher. Peace.